So this is the product the customer use and it's over the shelf. Uh, basically it's an acid and it uh, helps dissolve or removes the binding of grout cement from tile. And um, it purely says right here that you need to flush it well and the customer didn't do that. So I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna correct all that stuff for her and uh, clean it up and give it a good uh, sealing when we're done. So just be sure when you use anything like this product, the cement grout haze remover, it's an acid. And what happens is that the acid will actually, if it's not flushed well, will remain on the flooring and it'll leave a uh, oily type of residue. I hope you can see this, but there's a little bit of a film all along here and stuff, okay? And what happened, like I said before, they didn't rinse off the acid, they just put it down wiped up the stuff and then left what was left over on the floor. So the acid has basically dried up per se and it leaves an oily residue. So how do we correct that? Well, with acids, what's the opposite of an acid, right? The alkali. So it wouldn't make sense for me to put more acid down, okay, to reactivate it. Because first of all, I use a phosphoric acid. That's a different type of acid that they've been using. And I'm not quite sure how that will react very well with each other. So I'm just gonna start off with a very high alkali. That's protocol. And um, I did a test area and it seems to work pretty good, so between the, the alkali to neutralize the acid that's on the floor and um, to flush it out with the wand and everything. I'm not gonna go 1200 PSI, probably about nine, just to give it a good flush, okay? So let's check it out and continue. What I'm doing right now is I'm just, uh, I'm just applying it with a sprayer, okay? And then I'm gonna use my Auric here with a little white pad, polishing pad, just to kind of spread it out and everything. And uh, that seems to be working quite sufficiently. Just an example, just to show you guys on YouTube and everywhere else I post my stuff, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, and um, just give it a nice little coat. You don't have to go nuts, because we're just neutralizing the acid, bringing it back up, and then we're going to just flush it out, and we should be good to go. And then afterwards, they want me to seal this flooring. So that's going to be a joy because, first of all, these uh, grout lines, you know, they're probably a quarter of an inch thick and they're a stacked tile plank. So that's always a joy. You know, I use a grout stick. Sometimes you can use a sprayer. I might have to do both. So here's another example of how much of the acid was left on the floor and what can happen. There's so much on here that you can actually see see their footprint, okay? That's the acid residue that's been left behind, so I'm surprised their feet aren't burning. I should ask them about that. So, I got the sealer down here now, and what we're gonna do is just kinda like some of the areas that are oversaturated with the sealer, it just gets absorbed with this microfiber bonnet pad here. I got a couple of them. And uh, some might think, oh, you're putting too much. And some might think I'm putting too little. I just do what I do. And it seems to always work out, so. But the key is like, you don't wanna just leave the stuff pooling, you know, cause then you're gonna look white, hazy, and you're basically starting over. So. Yeah. Right, so as we can see, floor looks a whole lot better. Doesn't have that dull gray look, that oily look it had before. And uh, came out really good. It's sealed. See that footy print's gone. Yeah, that footprint's gone. So we know the oil's coming out. Yeah, nice clean sheen to it. Nothing's funky. Very happy. So, remember, you do-it-yourselfers. 
you're going to acid wash your floor, better make sure you do it right. If not, call me. Have a great day, everybody.